So again, my name is Bill Hoops. I'm just going to introduce our panelists here today. Uh, first, we are thrilled uh, to be joined by Jason Rose of DataSift. Uh, Jason is joining us from the UK. So Jason, I guess it's good evening to you. How are you? I'm good, uh, thanks, and uh, looking forward to the webcast today. Great, thanks, Jason. Uh, also, I guess many of you know the cliche, last but not least. Uh, well, in this case, maybe he is the least, but we like him anyway. Uh, Brett Allred is also here uh, to seal the deal on this webinar as we as we conclude today. We'll introduce him a little bit later. Uh, first, let's cover today's goals. Uh, first, we'll be distributing the first ever monthly Nuvi Awards. Uh, and share a few of our client successes over over the last little bit here over the last month. Uh, I'll, more more on that in a bit, but I know that now the anticipation is rising. It's just going to be thrilling. Uh, next, we ho we hope to collectively introduce you to Facebook topic data, uh, either clarify further uh, the need to only search out social media monitoring solutions that will help you work with Facebook topic data, uh, and then lastly. Uh, you know, today's webinar, you should you should pretty much feel an overwhelming desire to integrate Nuvi into your life uh, as your social media monitoring solution of choice. Uh, and pretty much by doing so, I can most certainly uh, tell you that you will expect to experience enhanced life balance, increased work fulfillment, and in general, overall happiness. So jumping right into things here first, let's get the party going by handing out the first ever monthly Nuvi awards. You don't know what these are yet. Uh, but you will soon feel a need to obtain one in your life. The Nuvi Awards are given to individuals or brands that have exhibited some amount of social awesomeness over the last month. Some of these award winners are Nuvi clients of ours, so just a little self-plug. However, some of them are not currently, but should be. Uh, so first, our first winner uh, is the Trump the Trump Award. Uh, and this one goes to at Jonathan Miami. So as Donald Trump announced his candidacy, candidacy for president of the United States, at Jonathan Miami got his tweet on and had triple the retweets uh, as the original tweet from the Donald. So uh, no matter your size, just a little lesson for all of us, no matter the size of your brand uh, or your presence, social will give you the power and your customers the power uh, to be a part of any conversation. So congrats at Jonathan Miami. We'll find you and we will send you this award. You'll, you'll love it. And I, you may be listening. I don't know. We've got a lot of you on this thing. So congratulations for trumping the Trump. Our next uh, Nuvi award goes to the Denver Broncos of the National Football League. So recently with American Pharaoh winning the, the first Triple Crown in nearly 50 years, uh, as that conversation began to explode on social, uh, the Broncos snuck into the conversation with this little gem. Uh, we know a thing or two about being the best horse, way to run, hashtag American Pharaoh, hashtag Triple Crown. Uh, again, congratulations. Bottom line, we just liked it and thought you were creative. Uh, most certainly accomplished some of your social strategy ob objectives as well. Next award goes to one of our clients. Uh, this award we call hashtag winning. Uh, Infinity Strategic Marketing and Advertising Solutions. They're an agency based out of Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, um, that serves restaurants and chains. Uh, and we, we, can't, we can't really share everything about their secret sauce and how they're using Nuvi, because then you'd all copy them. Uh, but we hope to illustrate that no matter your, no matter your size um, of agency or brand, uh, Nuvi is not a cookie cutter solution that fits just one type of industry. Uh, Infinity is using it to, to find a lot of success and they're having a great experience uh, using Nuvi as their social media platform. So congrats at Bry Gurley and at Chelsea L. Smith uh, for, for basically just for being awesome. So uh, the next award, we've got two more here. The next award, in case you missed it in ad week, there was a Q&A uh, with Bellator Media uh, about their uh, Fight 138. Uh, they were asked, how are you guys defining digital success for tomorrow's fight? Uh, and Eric responded, social media chatter is always a big barometer for us. We monitor the fight specific hashtag and various keyword uses in real time with the help of our social media monitoring platform and the best system in the world, Nuvi. I guess it doesn't say that there, but I just added to it. Uh, to see what is trending and which influencers are sharing our content. Anyway, uh, Got some feedback from Eric 
everything went great with their fight. Uh, if you're if you're into watching that kind of thing, we'd invite you to look up Fight 138 with Bellator MMA uh, between Kimbo Slice and Ken Shamrock. It was fairly entertaining, uh, and we know Bellator MMA uh, Eric Burek and his um, his social team just knocked it out of the park that day. Uh, congratulations to you guys. And the last award uh, for this month goes to the queen of social, Miss Taylor Swift, uh, and to Apple executive Eddie Q. Um, really, Taylor can apparently do no wrong ever. Um, I don't know. I'm sitting right next to Susanna from, from Data Sift, and she's kind of agreeing with me, although we both like it better when she was singing country music. Anyway, uh, the most impressive thing to us was not that she was doing it for herself, uh, but mainly for, for new artists, new songwriters, new, produ- new producers that, uh, that can't really support themselves, uh, loved what, uh, what Taylor wrote. Uh, but then equally as impressive uh, was how quickly um, Eddie Q and his team at Apple responded. Uh, so congrats to Taylor, uh, and I'm certain... Uh, this won't be the the last new, newbie award that you receive from us. So again, congratulations to our first ever monthly winners of the newbie awards. You should be receiving something in the mail the mail here in the next uh, couple weeks. I know some of you already have Grammys and Webbies and things like that, but I'm sure this award will go right up there with some of your finest achievements, uh, especially for the Denver Broncos since that Super Bowl ring seems to be quite elusive. Um, uh, well, sorry, Keith, our CEO is quite the Denver Broncos fan, but you'll get one someday, especially with Peyton Manning under center. All right. Hey, let's, let's, let's move right in. We, we hope you enjoy that. And now all of you will want a new award in, in our coming webinars or, or releases through the interwebs. Um, so, so now you've had the Buffalo wings or the calamari. So let's, t- let's get to the main course. Uh, we cannot express here at Nervi, Nuvi how important it is, uh, that your social media monitoring software provide a solution uh, to work with Facebook topic data. With 1.44 billion monthly active users, 1.25 billion mobile active users, 1.3 million pieces uh, of shared content every minute of every day, and more than 350 million photos and 2 million plus advertisers, uh, as marketers, we cannot afford to work with a solution that is not Nuvi. so and, and and that allows you to work with Facebook topic data. So to give us a look uh, into Facebook topic data, I'm going to turn the time over now to Jason Rose, the, the senior vice president of marketing with DataSif. Uh, Jason, take it away. Great. Excited I am uh, to be here today with everybody to talk about topic data. But I've got to say, Bill, I'm not sure how I follow uh, the first ever uh, Nuvi Awards. That was uh, that was really impressive. So uh, thanks for that uh, introduction. Um, as you know, um, uh, and, and as Bill mentioned, I mean, Facebook really is on a uh, a different level in terms of social network. Uh, the numbers that Bill rhymed off are. Um, really, um, you know, almost representative of, of the entire world's population. So um, by getting into uh, topic data, which I'll, I'll get into in a few moments here, it's really um, uh, an interesting opportunity for you all to be able to potentially use Nuvi um, to go in and understand what you're interested in and what is being shared um, within um, that network. If we could move across to the uh, next slide, uh, please. Um, really, so what we're talking about um, is Facebook topic data. And Facebook topic data is anonymized and aggregated content data about activities, events, brand names, and other subjects, really uh, just about anything uh, uh, you all can think of as customers um, that people are sharing on Facebook. So it really gives you a broad um, set of insights into um, really um, um, the world of Facebook. So we're really excited about this opportunity. And if we move to the next um, slide, um, you know, really, I, I think it's interesting. I mean, Facebook, um, you certainly can gain insights into um, your page um, and the people that are interacting with the posts, likes, and comments on your uh, on your own pages. And we've seen um, a, a lot of insight um, into Facebook by those tools, and it gives you a really good idea of the content you're creating and how people are interacting with your corporate property. 
However, um, you know, really uh, top data provides insights across the entire um, spectrum of what is being uh, shared uh, within Facebook. So, for example, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, and I'm kind of disappointed that uh, you know Daenerys or uh, some of the other Game of Thrones characters can receive newbie awards. Uh, maybe next time uh, for the Game of Thrones folks, but um, something for HBO to aspire to uh, for sure. Um, but you know, if you're Game of Thrones, you have a page out there, and you're probably doing quite well in terms of um, people on Facebook interacting with your page. Um, but really, um, you know, there's a whole set of sharing uh, going on around Game of Thrones that doesn't include that web property, that uh, Facebook property. And really, um, what uh, Top Data provides is that ability now uh, to understand that broader uh, set of sharing that on and the engagement um, with that content. And what's really resonating and what is really um, uh, being shared within the broader uh, Facebook network, including things like what are the major links, what are the major stories, what are the major articles that are being engaged with and shared within um, uh, the Facebook uh, network. So it's a really exciting uh, data set that while many of you uh, have uh, seen statistics coming out of Facebook before, um, really um, this is the first time that you really get to see what I will call that organic um, set of sharing that is going on um, within the network. If we move ahead to the next slide, um, really um, what we're talking about here uh, is being powered um, uh, by DataSift. So DataSift is a uh, organization that uh, really is helping Nuvi enable um, uh, this ability um, to provide those insights. So really, if you think about um, the task uh, that Nuvi and, and DataSift are undertaking here, really uh, DataSift is handling a, a massive amount of unstructured uh, information coming in um, from that network at a, a scale that, that really, um, you know, I uh, was in with the CTO of Facebook uh, a while ago, and, and he uh, let us know that basically nobody operates at the scale of Facebook. They really are. I think when they went IPO uh, a few years back, um, you know, the amount of data on uh, Facebook was actually larger than the entire internet was back in 2007. So it's it's a pretty incredible. Uh, organization and an incredible, incredible amount of information. But we were actually able to go down um, to Facebook, and everything we do is actually um, uh, built in a privacy first man manner, which means we're actually installed uh, inside of Facebook, the DataSift platform, and we were able to go in, do our installation, and begin processing um, topic data. Um, uh, right out of the gate without having to park an entire uh, development team at the Facebook office. So really we are operating at a scale and a size that really allows organizations like Nuvi to innovate and create the visualizations and create the products that many of you know and love and use today. And really that's the special sauce that DataSift is bringing to the table that enables Nuvi to offer some of the fantastic products that they offer today. Why don't we move ahead to the uh, next slide. So if we think about, um, you know, as I was mentioning um, uh, in the uh, topic data uh, intro, um, what we're actually looking at, and, and you know, in terms of uh, the um, sharing uh, going on, is really we get a great view into the content um, that's being shared, including things like links, and hashtags and um, uh, the content uh, that is being shared uh, within uh, the Facebook uh, uh, network. Um, but we also get to see the engagements around that, so the likes, um, the shares, and the comments on posts. And you notice that the comments, uh, we actually don't analyze um, uh, the text of those comments, because as you know, if you follow some of those big comment threads, um, they can deviate pretty widely from the content of the original post. However, um, we are receiving all of the demographics around um, all of these engagements. So you can not only see um, you know, the, uh, um, uh, the content and uh, uh, what is uh, being uh, shared and engaged with, but you actually get a really good idea of the audience um, that is interacting with that particular topic in which you're interested. If we move ahead to the next slide, 
Um, the interesting thing about the uh, demographics um, that are returned um, with topic data is these are really the self-declared demographics of the people on Facebook. So you get an idea of, uh, uh, of the items you can see here on the left-hand side of the slide. So age ranges, um, the self-declared location. So the self-declared location. So uh, while I'm uh, usually based in um, San Francisco, California, I'm sitting here talking to you, to you today from, uh, from the United Kingdom. Um, all of my um, Facebook activity would actually show up as being based in San Francisco. So it's actually based on your self-declared location. It is not based on any um, geolocation or other data that maybe um, is coming back by your mobile device. So we're not um, um, uh, receiving or utilizing any of that information because we really have a strong set of privacy controls, which I'd like to go into in a moment, that make sure that, as you know, Facebook is a, um, a private network. Uh, most users on the network um, have their settings um, set to you know, share with friends or share with friends of friends. And um, in architecting this product and in working with Facebook to deploy this technology, we really have taken a privacy-first approach in terms of how we allow you um, to do and perform the analysis in terms of the sharing and engagement um, within the Facebook network. And if we move to the next uh, slide, please. So as I mentioned, um, we've taken a number of um, steps in conjunction with Facebook to make sure that this data um, can provide you the insights around the audiences um, that are engaging with content while protecting um, the privacy and um, identity of all users and all people on the um, Facebook network. So for number, uh, number one is, as I mentioned, the DataSift technology, which uh, feeds into the new v product, is actually installed uh, inside Facebook's um, firewall. Um, so um, the key thing about this, and, and something that's really interesting, is throughout the process, from the time um, a post is created to the time uh, DataSift uh, processes that data into a privacy-safe index, which I'll get into in a moment, to the time that data is delivered to Nuvi and onto um, you as a customer, Facebook actually maintains custody of that information all the way through, making sure that the privacy of people on the network is protected. Before we um, ever uh, um, uh, 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 process any of the information, um, identity is removed from the data. So there's never any personally identifiable information or personally identifiable data within the um, uh, uh, data sets that uh, DataSift uh, uh, um, accesses. And the results from that data set, so basically what we do is we um, take these uh, anonymized posts um, along with all of their demographic information and put them into something that we call an index. And basically um, uh, through the new v, uh, user interface, you would then query um, that index and we would re return results to you about that audience. Now, the only time a result would actually be returned to you is if there were 100 or more people making up a given statistic. And that way, um, there's a big enough population around the question you're asking that we can protect um, the identity that you can't um, see any individual from that, uh, that return result. The other thing we're doing is, um, as we look at the data uh, being generated, what you're going to do is you're going to kick off an analysis and uh, you know once you access the new v um, solution you're going to kick off an analysis on on your particular topic and that analysis will actually kick off from the time that you say go I want to begin analyzing my particular topic and that analysis will begin building data uh, into that index and that data has a retention period of 30 days so once we hit the 30th day the first day of collection would uh, roll off and the next day of data would uh, come into the index. And again, that's to ensure that we uh, protect uh, the right to be forgotten and that we're protecting the uh, privacy of people within the network. And then finally, um, the minimum age uh, for data collection is 18. So anyone who is um, uh, 18 or younger uh, is not uh, included in the um, data that uh, is being analyzed to protect um, the analysis of uh, things from miners. So we want to make sure that we're very mindful of that as well. So if we uh, move ahead to the next slide, um, really as we um, look at uh, this end-to-end -end process, and, and I think this provides a really nice recap, 
um, really uh, what DataSift is doing, the DataSift platform is um, uh, sitting within that Facebook firewall environment, as you can see depicted here on the slide. And the first step is for you, via Nuvi, to define you know, what their um, specific filter or what their criteria is that they want to um, understand or analyze from Facebook um, topic data. Um, from there, um, there's a number of um, different attributes on that data that uh, can be analyzed, such as uh, we leverage the Facebook open graph, which is a, a, a kind of fancy way of saying, um, you know, the um, uh, basically it's the um, entities or the topics that are uh, being extracted from um, the, uh, the posts um, inside the network. Um, and you're actually able to use those to get a better idea of uh, the accuracy and the um, uh, type of information um, that is being stored uh, into your index. And once that information is in the index, um, basically you will access um, the Nuvi um, tool, which uh, I think Brett will talk about here in, in a few moments, um, to then really um, look at the analytics. I, I think uh, you know Nuvi, uh, with their visual interface, um, really provides a great way for you to understand um, the uh, sharing and engagement that's going on around that topic and really provide you a simple way to understand what is happening um, um, with uh, that particular topic in a very visual, easy to use and graphical um, representation while protecting the anonymity and the um, uh, uh, anonymous nature of, uh, of the people and the users uh, within the uh, Facebook network. So that's really how um, the system will work and how we're able to provide such a breadth of uh, insight and analysis across um, the Facebook network. So why don't we move ahead to the next slide. All right, Jason, thank you. Thank you very much. That's some great insight. Uh, so now to discuss a, a bit of what this means for you, either as a current newbie client or, or a future one, uh, we'll turn things over to our Chief Operations Officer, Mr. Brett Allred. Thanks, Bill, and thanks, Jason. I, this uh, this partnership that we're, we've entered into with DataSift has been really exciting for us. We've been working on this uh, for about six months now, it seems, and as we're, as we're continuing to work through all of the possibilities uh, that this topic data provides, it's been really interesting to see um, the ideas and the product evolve as we continue to learn about this. And there was a, an article put out on LinkedIn this morning uh, by a guy named Jack Simic from Telegraph Hill. And in talking about Nuvi and, and this topic data, he used a phrase which I really liked, and I think it gives some insight into what this is going to mean for, for brands and for digital marketing agencies, for small businesses, for large businesses, really just to capture the entire uh, summation of what this product can be. And, and he said, quote, the big why for us is about putting audiences first. And that word audiences, I think, is key to understand in what this product is going to be. Uh, if you have any topic on Facebook that you're interested in understanding who the audience is around that topic, that's going to be the first level of analysis that we're going to be able to do. So if you're interested in who's the audience around an event, we could set up a research campaign to analyze uh, a, an event such as the NBA Finals, and we could pull in and start to understand who is the audience around the NBA Finals. But you could also take that down a level and say, okay, who is the audience around um, the specific teams or about a specific player? And really anything that, any topic that you can think of, whether that's an event, a brand, a, a personal brand, um, a movie, or uh, you know, a book, any type of topic that you can think of, we're going to start to pull information on that and we'll, we'll start to do the analytics. Now, because of the in innovation that's been happening uh, in this product, one of the things that we've done at Nuvi is really try to elevate our game in the way that we visualize data. Now, people know Nuvi for our, the visualizations that we have and you come into our platform and it's very pretty and it's very stunning. But we're taking that to the next level and, and we've rewritten an entire visualization library from the ground up called Transcend. And we named it Transcend because we really think this transcends any type of social media visu visualization that you have seen. And so as we continue to roll out the product, you're, you're going to see a very, very beautiful product 
um, that not only um, is you know related to the current Nuvi offering, but I say even transcends that is, is very beautiful. So what this means for everybody and when can you get access to this? Uh, we're announcing today that we will have a limited release product that you will have availability to access on July 6th. That's in 11 days. So we're offering that product on a first come first serve basis. And in a minute here, I'll, I will uh, supply you with a website that you can go on to and you can register for access to this limited release. And so if you're a current customer of Nuvi, go on there and, and we'll start rolling this out. And if you're not a customer of Nuvi currently, go get on the list and we will invite you to the next follow-up meeting. And so everybody that registers on our on this uh, limited release list, we'll have a follow-up webinar next Thursday, July 2nd. And in that webinar, we're going to be doing an in-depth product demo. We'll be talking about pricing, and then we'll be setting up individual trainings with your account manager so you can start using this. Now, because this is limited release, we are going to start with allowing 25 companies on July 6th to gain access to this. And as we onboard those companies, we'll continue to add groups of 25, hopefully every week or every other week, uh, depending on, on, on the, the feedback and how that goes. So if you would like to get access to this product uh, starting you know, in 11 days on July 6th, uh, there's a website we have, which is www.nuvi.com forward slash offers forward slash topic data. And there's a little form in there you can fill out with your name and your email, a, a couple of uh, some information. And if you're not currently a, a Nuvi customer, make sure to indicate that on the form. And so we can uh, get the agreement in place to have you become a Nuvi customer. And so you can have access to this. Uh, we would love to get uh, this product out to as many people as possible. And again, we'll have a follow up webinar a week from today, which was going to be July 2nd. And that's again, we'll be talking about the product demo the pricing, and then how you can get started with your individual account manager to get trained and start using this. So that's all for me, Bill. All righty. Thank you very much, Brett. Uh, looks like we have time for uh, for one question uh, real quick. This one's directed at, at Jason. Uh, what, uh, what sort of data will I be able to see? Yeah, uh, thanks, Bill. That's a, a great question. So really, um, as I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, what we're um, looking at and, and um, what we're able to um, um, analyze are, are, are kind of two different things. So um, what you'll actually see inside the uh, Nuvi uh, interface is uh, aggregated results about um, the um, audience or the um, topic you're looking um, to uh, to analyze. So you'll see statistics about, um, you know, the uh, demographics, uh, the age, um, the location of um, of folks that are um, uh, uh, engaging in the topic that you've um, chosen. What Datasift is actually doing is we have an index where we're um, um, storing posts, page posts plus engagement data like likes, um, shares, and comments um, on the posts. And then what we're doing is we're enriching that with the uh, demographics, the topics, and sentiment around um, those items. And then we are aggregating, anonymizing, and providing um, those statistics back into the Nuvi interface for you to analyze. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jason, for that. Again, there, there, uh, there will be a lot to learn with this. Um, with uh, Facebook topic data and then also how, uh, how, how us as Nuvi, how we're going to provide a solution for you. Um, so again, the, the next question, how quickly will I be able to use Nuvi's topic data? Uh, just to reiterate a little bit of what Brett had to say, um, we will have, uh, just go to this, go to this website, Nuvi.com slash offer slash topic data, uh, sign up, uh, to be able to, uh, to register to have uh, to have a chance to be able to use uh, this uh, limited release uh, of Facebook topic data. So again, sign up for that, uh, and then we will uh, we will communicate with you further uh, about this upcoming webinar where we'll really nail down uh, the product demo, 
uh, and then followed by some pricing and then also get you set up with your with your uh, dedicated account manager again uh, just uh, sorry just one more one more quick question uh, came in is uh, in what countries will I be able to use this data in? and initially it's in the United States and in the UK uh, initially and, and that will also uh, progress as we continue so uh, again folks thank you for joining us on this webinar uh, again sign up for that or re register uh, at newbie.com slash offer slash topic data uh, start changing your lives immediately so that you can obtain one of those newbie awards next time we all get together and uh, it's been a pleasure Jason thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us all the way from the UK uh, and Suze it's been great having you here in the office um, Again, uh, thank you very much for your time. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be in touch soon.